Hi, uh, you already addressed one aspect of the masking policy, which was the timing of the announcement. Um, the other concern that I've seen and have experienced is uh, people not following the masking policy. And so my question is, what can be done if there are masks on 2024 to ensure that the policy is followed more uh, rigorously. rigorously? Yes. No. Well, I mean, first off, like there, some there are always going to be people. I think going forward in this world who want to be masked. There certainly would never be a policy that made it against the rules. No masks. I'm never there will be masks on 2024. COVID or not, I'm never taking a flight again without a mask on. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 But as to what the policy is, as, as we've said, we're you know, not ready to stay. Yeah. And as far as uh, you know, enforcing it, you know, this is hard because there again, there are a lot of people on the ship. Um, when somebody is not wearing a mask, it is very difficult to tell, just like poking, just said, poking your head into a room like this, and you see somebody not wearing a mask, are they, are they having a drink, or, or did they just get a drink, did they just finish a drink and they've forgotten to put it back on, are they flaunting the rules, are they trying to get away with something, you can, it's very difficult to tell. So, the... You know, well, it would be great if we had, uh, uh, you know, a fleet of a thousand robot drones who could fly around the ship and know what's in everybody's hearts and uh, remind the people who need to be reminded of the masks on. You know, it's just, it's just an impossible undertaking. And so, you know, in last year, uh, you know, we, we really, you know, it was even more of an issue last year because that there were still people who were, who were uh, wishes that we were maskless last year, and obviously it was the same policy. Um, and you know, I think that what we what we hope we've always sort of relied on this community to regulate itself. And and in, in my experience, this may not be a place experience, but um, you know, just anecdotally, it seems like we are very supportive and, and uh, good at taking care of each other in this face-to-face, person-to-person way. And so. You know, I would encourage you, if you are in a room and there's somebody who's not wearing a mask, I think you should feel free to say, like, hey, would you mind putting on a mask? And I would be willing to bet most of the time, they'll be like, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, and if they do not, then if they refuse, then please let us know. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what else to say about that. It's, it's, I, I, do, I don't know if anybody, I don't know if you have any suggestions about how we should. Um, I have heard other conventions have like a three strikes you're out type policy and right. they have people that try to monitor it and if they find someone out of compliance, they like punch a card or something so you can keep track of it. It's not perfect. Yeah. Um, I, I think the only other suggestion I have is when making the masking announcements, um, if you could just remind everybody that this is for the health and safety of all of our guests and that it's for the health and safety of people that are you know, compromised, that that would hopefully encourage people to follow it more rigorously. Yeah. Thank you.